what's going on guys it's your boy dolly back again this kansas city three that passed away this is so crazy okay but first if you're brand new here make sure you sub up give the video a like ring that bell for notifications and of course feel free to share my ugly face on any social media platform you choose now a lot of new stuff is coming out it looks like jordan was lying to his lawyer he told his lawyer that he didn't receive some of these text messages that he received that a lot of this stuff was robocalls that is right robocalls where his phone automatically blocks the messages okay so this seems a little crazy so the lawyer we know he has the most inconsistent statements of any lawyer on the planet i don't know where he got this guy he would have been better off with my damn cousin vinny okay two youths i don't know what to say about this lawyer every time i see him he changes up the story five people in the house alex the fifth person in the house sent a message to jordan jordan is saying he never got that message that is what he told the lawyer now look the fifth person was getting messages about the three people inside the house and he was replying back and he sent messages to Jordan and Jordan didn't reply back to his friend. Not only that, Jordan lied about getting the messages. There's no way that Jordan did not know when you see the layout of the home with the windows, he had to be able to see these people in his backyard as he walked around his home. Now listen, I believe that there will be some charges in this. I know you're thinking, how? It's just too crazy. It is just too crazy. It don't make sense. I've been saying he needs to be charged with not reporting a death. I believe these people were doing drugs. That's why the lawyer won't say what was going on. Oh, I ain't going to speak on the activities of the three other people. Well, this is concerning your client if they were in there doing drugs you need to let the world know so we go okay these dudes od'd and fell out in the backyard but right now there's no signs of paraphernalia they didn't find any drugs where did the drugs go and people know these type of drugs that are going to kill you like that were done right there okay they didn't do these drugs somewhere else and come to this location they did these drugs at this location where is the para paraphernalia from that i tell you why there ain't none jordan been cleaning up a crime scene and not reporting it to the police so i believe that's why he lawyered up of course he's going to end up getting charged with something now people saying mad scientists could have been working on everything i mean it's the conspiracies conspiracies are great for youtube but it's most likely they done did some of these horrible street drugs that have been wiping out so many people in our country anyway. The big F, I don't want to say the word, you know, the big H. These things that, that are coming from other countries into our country and being mixed with drugs to make the drugs a little more powerful. And they're just killing all people. Now, a lot of people out here think this guy was working on something. The family believes absolutely that their loved ones saw something they wasn't supposed to see. That Jordan may have been working on. Now, Alex hasn't really came out and spoke much about what transpired that night. Just a little bit about they were watching Jeopardy when he left. Everything seemed normal. Now, he hasn't said anything about illegal activities, but maybe... They didn't do it around him. And earlier that night, there was other people there. Okay. Now, the family are saying some of these people, not all, don't even drink or smoke. Now, I say it all the time. You could do drugs for the first time and it'd be your absolute last time. Just say no. There's a reason people say just say no. Because you don't want to be burying your loved ones. But I do not believe that they went outside to do the drugs and fell dead there. That makes 
absolutely no sense. Jordan, I believe, has taken these people from inside his home and drug them out to his backyard and left them there and acted like he did not know what's going on. How did he not hear people banging on the door? Who sits around in their house with headphones on? Well, I do. I be in the studio. But this man's a scientist. He ain't a YouTuber, okay? So he's sitting around 24 hours a day with headphones on his head. He didn't notice their keys. He didn't notice their wallets. He didn't. He noticed their vehicles. He keeps changing his stories about the vehicles. He keeps changing his story about seeing them leave and not seeing them leave. His lawyers already said that he's lied to him. The lawyer needs a lawyer, okay? I could title this vi uh, video, The Lawyer Needs a Lawyer, and it would make absolute sense, okay? The lawyer knows probably what's going on. I'm sure Jordan has told him, and we all know when toxicology comes back in a few days, there's going to be drugs in these young man's system. Now, here's, here's the question, though. Did they put the drugs in their system? Or did the mad scientist drug them? Now, how do you get drugs in your system without no drug paraphernalia around? Let's just say, you know, a rolled up dollar bill, a syringe, a mirror. You know, there's certain little things that go along with these activities to do these recreational drugs. Where are those things at? They're not there because Jordan had all this time to clean up and he instantly runs, moves, hides, lawyers up. Who moves out in the process of something like this? Now, people, tell me, do you think this is sus? I do. I do. I'm like, look, this dude must have been packing his bags where literally his friends were freezing in the backyard now let me tell you this i love my friends to death if something tragic happened to my friend like that i would be out here with his family i'd be out crying i i would not talk to the public i wouldn't lawyer up i would be with my friend's family that's what i'd be doing i don't understand it like the family is like what the hell and if you was a real friend you would be there for the family. And these people, Jordan, not people, just Jordan, he's not really there like that. So how close of a friend was he really? You know, sometimes in this world, friends become frenemies. Is it possible that Jordan had a falling out with his friends? And he's done something absolutely horrible and cooked up some mad scientist recipe. I don't know. But the plot keeps thickening. And I do believe there is going to be a rest in this case. You guys, of course, let me know what you think about all this in the comment box down below. Are they going to arrest Jordan? And if they do, what are they going to charge them with? And what should they charge them with? Do you think the cops are still investigating this as just three people accidentally dying? Or do you think this has became a murder investigation? Let me know. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, if you're brand new, sub up, like the video. Ring the bell for notifications, and of course, feel free to share this on any social media platform. Peace.